hello 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 and welcome back to my channel if you are returning if you are new welcome so i just want to come on and show y'all what i got in this michael's grab box now this is not a recent box um if you watched my video um the last haul i did i mentioned that i had two grab boxes i had got from michael's and i think i got around january time frame and i had never um went in i i opened it to see like once i got in the car i opened it i knew it was like either fall or halloween type stuff but i wasn't sure exactly what it was so um i went in my stores to get it out because i I'm, I'm getting ready well i'm not getting ready right now i probably should be but um when i was at that buyer's buyer's market they had like halloween stuff for like a uh, treat bag and stuff like that for kids so i was thinking about um what am i gonna do for my grandkids school this year so that's what made me think I need to go and get these out. But why when I went in my storage, y'all, I was only able to find one. And I know I bought two. I know I did. I don't know what the other one is. But it was in a box. Y'all know they used to have the bags. Um, now they got the box. And the boxes are $10. Um, I haven't really been to Michael's in a while. So, I mean, no, I'm not going to say that. I have been. I just haven't, like been going consistently like uh they sell glowforge um proof grade material so i go in there to get that sometimes you know i check out what they have in there if i need a t-shirt that they ain't got a hobby lobby you know i go in there but i haven't really been going to michael's because in my opinion no michael's is not the most expensive i think joanne's is the most expensive craft store but i mean i still go to michael's because they do have a lot of good stuff um they have a lot of nice halloween stuff um but i just haven't really i don't know well I really ain't been shopping either, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, let's see what we got in this box. Um, Hopefully, it's something I can use for um these children, because I'm like, mm, I got to get some stuff. Last year, I spent too much money, because I waited to the last minute. I'm not doing it this time. But anyway, and again, I got this in, I think it was January. And actually, when I got the boxes, I thought it was going to be Christmas stuff. Um, <laughs> but I should have known, like, they, they wouldn't have Christmas stuff that close to, like, right after Christmas. But, um, I mean, $10, but anyway, so I got this in here. This is a silicone brain cake mold. So I do do chocolate covered treats sometimes, but I've never did, like, the, the breakable one. I don't know. I might try that out, y'all. I might try that out this year. I don't know. I might. Um, and this originally was priced at $20. So look, I already done got my money's worth out of this box. That looks so dark. I got my ring like right here. I don't know. I just look dark, but I am dark. So anyway, so there's two of these. This is party craft platter. Um, makes 12 of something. 24 plastic clothes pins, 12 plastic scratch pins, 12 scratch shapes. 12 printed cards and instruction sheet. Uh, really not sure what that is. But anyway, it says it makes 12. And this was priced at $7.99. Alright. Um, got some wine glasses, plastic uh wine glasses. These are Thanksgiving related. Grateful, thankful, blessed. So I got that. There's one of those. Nope, there's two of those. So I got two of those, and these was priced at $7.99 originally. All right, I got two of these, Home Sweet Home, and this was priced at $19.99. Y'all know what I don't understand? Well, I don't know. I ain't going to say I don't understand because now I'm working at Hobby Lobby and Retail, I guess. Like, I don't understand. At first, well, I still don't really understand. I'm going to be honest. Like, the retail stores, how they mark, like, after the holidays, everything go 50, you know, 66, 75, 90, whatever, till they get rid of it. But the next year, they bring back the same stuff. Like, it seemed like it would make sense to just keep that stuff and store it. So, I don't know. I don't know. In my brain, it just seemed like it would make sense to keep that stuff because you're selling the same stuff. Because guess what? Dollar Tree don't do that. Y'all see, they don't they don't um reduce the price on their stuff after the holiday. They don't they do the candy and the food and stuff, but they don't they don't um reduce their price. They just bring it back the next year. I don't know. I just thought about it. Well, I ain't just think about it, but I was thinking about that. This is a DIY fillable wood decor. Um, oh, I guess you could put like candy or something in there. And this is priced at $14.99. Little witch hat. 
to the paint bed. So sometimes I have got grab bags and boxes before. Um, and sometimes I just sell it. Like one year I got like, I think like four or five boxes of um, Christmas wrapping paper. And I was not going to use all that paper. And it was all the same kind too. This is uh, Wiggly Eyes. Oh, I could really do some decorations. I didn't really, I don't even know if I decorated last year. This is a set of two. I don't even know if I decorated last year. Um, 24 cupcakes, and these are uh fall themed. Um, fall themed foam stickers. So I got one of those, two of those, three, four. Oh, it's a lot of them. Five. So it's like five of these. Six of these. This one is glitter. So I got like six of these, and these are priced at $4.99. Um, and this is a, a sewing craft kit. Hmm. That's cute. Got another uh, pack of the Wiggly Eyes. Got these foam um, felt shapes, shaped like pumpkins. Y'all, I don't really see nothing in here that's useful to me, honestly. <laughs> these little uh, penguins, I guess. Are these penguins? Oh, ghost. No, they're ghost witches. Ghost witch. Yeah. So I got a few of these ghost witches. I don't know. <laughs> um, This is like a little... Haunted House. Got one of these. Got another pack of the foam stickers. Um, I got this little sign. This is okay, a fall sign. That says eat. Original price $14.99. Alright, that's cute. Leaves are falling. Falling. Autumn is calling. So I got two of these. in the end it still was worth ten dollars so i ain't going so these are cookie cutter stampers so i'm going to be oh you push that in in the back oh i've got some cookie cutter stampers leaves and um pumpkin i guess that's a I guess that's a pumpkin kind of look like an apple though mm -mm. Um, turkey cookie cutter. So I got a, oh, got this turkey and this turkey. I don't know. I don't see myself using that, so I'm probably definitely going to sell those. Sticker books. Oh, you know what? This will come in handy. Well, I don't really know. I was finna say this will come in handy for like, um, you know, like Dollar Tree and some stores have like where you're covering the prices up on some things when you're doing gift bags or gift baskets. But all of these are like fall themed. So I don't know if I want to use these for that purpose. I don't know. Got some more cupcake liners. And some different ribbons. So I guess I ain't going to have to buy no ribbons for whatever I decide to do for those kids. So I got these different ribbons, and these are priced at $3.99 each. And then I got these two white ones. They was originally $9.99. And then I got these. These are like a, a oh, let's say a silky ribbon. Kind of like a suede, like. So I got those. And this one was in here. So I guess it was worth um $10. These was priced at $9.99. So, well, <laughs> I ain't got nothing in here I can put in my grandkids' um, stuff. I mean, I could put some stickers on some of their stuff. Or I could just, I could probably give each kid a whole sticker, sticker sheet. I don't know how many sheets in there. No, I don't got no sheets to give everybody a sheet. But anyway, I don't know. I'll figure something out.
But anyway, that's what I had in this one. And I gotta find my other one, y'all. I was in that storage and I could not find it. And I'm like, what did I do with it? Like, I don't. And y'all, so I'm gonna show y'all some other stuff that I like. Again, I have so much stuff in there. Sometimes I just buy stuff and I just throw it in there. So I was looking at um some of the bags I got from Hobby Lobby when I got the fall 90% off, some of the Christmas 90% off. Just um different stuff. So I really need to go in there and start pulling my stuff out so I can start doing these baskets because I had so many um like fall towels. I got them when they were 90% off, like different towels. Um, so I need to go in there and start pulling that stuff out. I got some, um, I got a lot of bowls. Let me show you all these bowls I got. So I got a lot of these bowls. I think, I think, um, somebody had brought these back. They had ordered like, well not ordered, but they had bought like over a hundred from different Hobby Lobbies and they ended up bringing them back because they didn't use all of them. And I end up buying a lot of these. I got so many. I probably got like 50 of them. And you can tell they've been packed up. So I'm going to have to fluff them out and spray them with that. Um, Y'all remember that Mod Podge spray I, I told y'all to spray on y'all bows to stiffen them up. So I'm going to have to spray that. But I got these for, they was 90% off. So that was 44 cents. So these will be good on um, Christmas gifts. Especially if they um, have Christmas colors. Like the red, the traditional Christmas colors. The red and green. So I got quite a few of those. And then I got these right here, y'all. I paid 79 cents for these. And I got a, quite a few of these too. I don't know. So I think, really I think I got these. Because I was thinking about using them at my wedding. And didn't use them. That's what I think. I don't know. But I got quite a I got quite a few of these. And I was thinking these could go on um on gifts as well. Maybe like smaller gifts. Um either tie it on with, with this string or put um like a Chanel stem up under there and, and tie it on that way. But I have so so many of these. So I'm thinking these could go for smaller gifts. And like I said, I have those towels and stuff. And I was just looking at some stuff in there. Why when they marked down the baby stuff um, the last time back in January, I had got some. I have so many of these in my storage, y'all. And I paid $2.49 for these. I got so many of these. So many of them. I took two of them out because I'm going to send one to my granddaughter. And I got to do another um girl uh, gift basket. But I have so many of these. I have some. I got a few of these. And y'all know when Dollar General had that brown, their brown dot um sale when like two months ago or whatever, I got a lot of the dog uh mugs and stuff. So I got this and this set, what is this? Because some family members shed, it's got the little uh lint roller and um the little hooks right here. I guess you put some keys on there or something. And I paid four dollars and forty nine cents for that. And then I got this little sign too. It said I work hard so my dog can have a better life. And this was a dollar and twelve cent. Like I'm not like I I really gotta stop buying stuff, y'all. It's it's crazy when I went in there and I went to the back of my storage. I'm looking at all these bags because um most of the stuff that I get from Hobby Lobby, I just leave it in the bag. So if I get it from the store that I work at, they put it in clear bags. So I had all these clear bags in there. Some of that stuff, like this stuff, for instance. I have forgot I even had this stuff. So I'm definitely going to have to go in there, you know, a few days out the week or, you know, something like that and just go through it a little at a time. I know I'm not going to be in there long doing that. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to show y'all the things I had in this box. And, um, yeah, so I'll probably be showing y'all some other stuff that I had. Well, I'm not going to show y'all all that stuff I got from Hobby Lobby because I'm not going to pull that stuff out. And most of that stuff, they don't have anyway. That's why I got it on clearance. And, you know, some of it was like the Christmas and the fall 90% off. But um, anyway, I am trying to get back to doing gift baskets this week. My goal was to do at least one um, this weekend, but I didn't. But um, I was watching um, uh, Trinka. I was watching her live earlier. And she was just saying, who's going to do Christmas? And y'all know what it made me think about? It made me think about last year, I did one vendor event um, before Christmas, just one. But I had did like quite a lot of mug gifts. Like I did some, a few bigger gifts, which I sold them, but I have so many mug gifts. I only did one event and I think I sold like three um, gifts there and I didn't do any street sales. And I have all those gifts left, y'all. <laughs> 
So I found them probably like two months ago. I found them. I was doing something. I had, because they're mug, so they're in a little crate. I had two little crates that on top of each other. So I'm just overlooking the stuff because I'm thinking like, oh, that's just something I need to go through, like some craft stuff. But that's what it was. So um, I think I'm probably going to revamp those tonight or maybe not tonight, but um, this week. Most of them had um, hot chocolate in there. So I guess I need to take that out, you know, open them up and see if it's still good. Um, but it's crazy. I still have all that stuff like Mickey Mouse. I had Mickey Mouse. I had Snoopy. I had all kind of stuff. But anyway, y'all, enough ranting. Um, thank you guys for watching my video. And until the next time, y'all have a great one.